Uh, if you look at that crowd, it's, it's insane. It's insanely flat. Everybody's the same. Everybody's wearing the same things from the shops. Everybody is exactly doing the same thing. They all go to the same direction. This spot doesn't even exist. It's nothing to do. The crowd is just killing the identity of people. And that's all. All their fake goals every morning. Their prestation. They're compulsively obsessed about. Just staying on top of their work. So they should stay on top of their life. And, and don't believe that thing that makes them believe that to be on top of their life will be if they are on top of their job. As an artist, can be a motivation to just criticize all of this. Should we go? Paris is so good for having a free lifestyle because nobody gives a fuck if it's not, not their own thing. You can go and bomb the shop, aside the shop that is open, you just tell them. And if they know them, they'll be like, no, I know the guy, don't paint on it. Or, I don't know, just do what you want, it's not my problem. Then, then you just do. Or you just never ask anything. If someone comes, they'll be like, what are you doing? They'll be like, I'm just painting, go away, you know. People are not violent. It's way more free to live like this here than in other countries where people wear guns, where people are crazy, they are snitch, they, they use their life to force people to be like great citizens as they are. They, they, they are so crazy because they're just following rules in their life with no mistakes, never, always following what it's on TV or it's on newspaper. Now everybody has to do this, they do it. So they expect you to do the same, and when they see you bombing, they will beat the shit out of you because they want you to do the same. You can't be egomaniac for so long, otherwise your wife has no goal, no point. So if I wasn't doing something else and graph today, my life would be boring, I would not enjoy it anymore. That's why art is just a new name of what I do. They because people, they like to put things in cases. But if it has no name, I will still call it graffiti on paper. But people think graffiti is only letters, but graffiti is an energy and a flow. Nothing to do with just letters or just throw up or round or square or whatever it is. I c I c I'll continue to do it, but I just need something else to express myself, because yeah, it you corresponded when I, when I was young to express myself with throw-ups and uh, defacing and put my names everywhere but then then I just grow up so I need a more adult way of talking you know well, you have to admit one day that if you paint okay you are outlaw but you're also so sensitive person that you have to express yourself in a very extreme way so Violence can be an extreme way, but also painting. The thing you realize, I just realized that I wanted my name everywhere on my traject, on my, on my, on my distance, every, every day. You know, where you go, where you go to school, where you go. Everywhere you used to see, your, where your eyes are seeing streets, you want your name on the best spots. And after that, I remember I just wanted to, you know, from my mom's door to my father's door, have my name everywhere. So then, now that I'm an adult, I can tell I was just trying to relink my family with just my art. I want to have an equilibrium between like street energy and uh, the, the illegal struggle of painting wherever you want, and I want that to put put some some life in my drawings and in what I want to express, and the, the shapes, and the colors, and everything. You're not the king of anything just because you're using good tools and you throw up, look good, or, you know. My ambition is not to be respected as a crazy, legendary graffiti writer. Like, I don't care. 
not about making money. It's about being able to do well. Every little thing you want to you wanna do. Every little thing you want to share with people. Every little idea, you have to make it. If you don't make it, nobody's going to make it for you. That's something nobody can take from me too. It's, you have to build your own base of life. Then you can be proud of yourself, of your existence. You feel useful because you build it something that is yours. Nobody can take it from you.